Les questions que mes générations sont, se posent sont les suivantes, si je peux me résumer. C'est de ne pas comprendre comment l'Afrique, avec tant de richesses sur notre sol, avec une nature généreuse, de l'eau, du soleil, en abondance, l'Afrique est aujourd'hui le continent le plus pauvre. Africa, for as long as you can imagine, has been the least developed and poorest continent in the world. Knowing their worth in natural resources, Africans over the years have been seeking change for the better in every sector be it economically, socially or politically. Of course, to achieve this change, some chains must be broken and some wrongs pointed out. In what seems like a very bold step for change, Burkina Faso, Niger and Mali are currently on the spotlight as a result of some major happenings. In today's video, the recent accusation of African leaders by Burkina Faso's president, the current military coup in Niger and the new constitution in Mali will be discussed. Stay tuned therefore and get informed. Ibrahim Traoré speech, Burkina Faso. Beginning our trip from Burkina Faso, it is important that we note that since Captain Ibrahim Traoré came to power in October 2022, Burkina Faso has distanced itself from France and gotten closer to several non-Western countries. The world's youngest leader, President Ibrahim Traoré, who came to power in a coup, accused African leaders on the 28th sub th slash sub of July 2023 of beggary at the Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg, Russia. He thanked the President of Russia for deciding to send free grains to African countries and expressed that Africa should become more self-sufficient in food by the next summit. In his exact words, he went further to say, My generation does not understand how Africa which has so much wealth became the poorest continent in the world today and why African leaders travel the world to beg. Furthermore, he said Burkina Faso, for eight years, have been confronted with the most barbaric and the most violent form of imperialist neocolonialism. He said slavery continued to impose itself on them. However, one thing he learned from his predecessors is that a slave who cannot assume his own revolt does not deserve to be pitted. For this reason, he thinks Africans are not feeling sorry for themselves, neither do they need anyone to pity them. Finally, while drawing attention to the struggle every generation is to face, he mentioned that he and his people have decided to fight against terrorism, in order to relaunch their development. In general, African states are ambivalent about the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Even though the majority supports territorial integrity, they have been more apart than any other region on UN resolutions criticizing Russia's actions in Ukraine. The main objective for African attendees was the impact of the Ukraine war on African economies, especially food inflation. Mali Mali, as we all know, is one of the world's poorest and most volatile countries, suffering from a string of coups since gaining independence from France in 1960. The nation has been battling a security and political crisis since jihadist and separatist insurgencies broke out in the north of the country in 2012. But currently, the military government in Mali has adopted a new constitution that enhances the powers of the president and the armed forces. The constitution also creates a senate and demotes French from an official to a working language. The opposition movement has denounced the reforms, which the Electoral Commission says were backed by 97% of votes cast in last month's referendum. Critics fear these changes make it easier for generals to break their promise of handing power back to civilian leaders after a presidential election. The new constitution implies interim president Kol Asimi Goita can now dictate government policy and has the power to dissolve the parliament. A legal case to have the referendum results was annulled because the vote was not held in all parts of Mali hence it was rejected by the constitutional court. There has been a massive popular support for the military junta when it seized power after mass protests against then president Ibrahim Boubacar Keita three years ago. As a result, people were fed up with economic uncertainty a disputed election and chronic insecurity. Since then Mali's military government has made little progress in its fight back against ISILMIS that control parts of the country. Nevertheless, the government says the new constitution will stop the spread of the 11-year jihadist insurgency. Still as an effect of the new constitution, Mali has decided to kick out all 12 UN peacekeepers in the country and is thought to employ 1,000 Russian mercenaries from the Wagner Group for security backup. Last year, 
France's soldiers were ordered to leave Mali and since then there has been rising resentment of the former colonial power and its present-day relationship with Mali and West Africa as a whole. Niger In Africa's Sahel region, Niger is one of the few democracies where disputes over how to quell Islamic insurgencies give rise to numerous power grabs including in Mali and Burkina Faso. Since 2021, the number of violent events involving militant Islamic groups in the Sahel has doubled to 2,912. Within the same period, deaths relating to such attacks have nearly tripled to 9,818. At the start of 2023, there were more than 1,100 attacks on civilians by militants in the region. President Bazoum's election in 2021 marked a relatively peaceful transfer of power, capping years of military coups following Niger's independence from France in 1960. There were signs that Niger's military leadership believed they had a lack of government support to fight militants and that a coup could change the campaign. In July 2023, military men claimed to have taken power in Niger after Bazoum was seized by members of the Presidential Guard. After the abduction of their president, Colonel Major Amadou Abdramain announced a stunning takeover, saying we have decided to put an end to the regime that you know. Report has it that US officials have stressed their focus on restoring democratic rule in Niger, while the Elysee Palace has continued to endorse Bozum and criticize the actors of the coup. Some Nigerians in the wake of deposition expressed their anger over the legacy of French colonialism and its continued influence in the West African country. Their reason for their reaction is that France acts as an imperial power by depleting the nation of its natural resources and directing how its leaders stir the economy. The Russian private military company, Wagner, has seized on the growing number of militias in Mali, with US officials warning that the group could extend similar contracts to the military junta in Niger. In a recent joint statement, Burkina Faso and Mali said that any military intervention against Niger would be considered war on them, after other West African leaders impose financial and travel penalties against the coup plotters. The dramatic ouster of President Mohamed Bazoum provoked split reactions from countries in the Sahel region, where the threat of militant extremism in recent years has destabilized local governments and led to volatility. On the 30th sub of July, the Economic Community of West African States issued a stark warning against the military junta and gave it a week to release and reinstate Bazoum. As an effect of all these happenings in Niger, a travel ban and asset freeze for the military officials involved in the coup attempt was imposed by the economic bloc. The ban also extends to their family members and civilians who accepted to participate in any institutions or governments established by the officials. Following the coup, France and the European Union also cut off financial aid to Niger. Burkina Faso, Mali and Guinea have expressed their solidarity with Nigerian authorities and said they will not participate in any measures against Niger by ECOWAS, calling the sanctions illegal, illegitimate and inhuman. How successful will these actions taken by Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger be? We definitely will update you in subsequent videos. Subscribe therefore not to miss out on any of our enriching and interesting content.